Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Comsize Studio. Welcome back to your 23rd Java programming tutorial. So, in our 22nd, we learned about how to make a method with no return type, so a void uh, method. Today, I'm just going to be teaching you guys about methods that do have a return type and how they work. So, yeah, let's get going. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is I'm just going to make. Um, yeah, we'll just make a string variable and we'll call it name. The first thing we want to do is we're going to want to make another void method. So let's just say public um, void set name. So this method is just going to be taking this name variable and giving it a value. So in order to do this, we use our parameters up here. In order to pass data to a method, um, we use the parameters we just stick so if we want to pass a string of text like a name through it uh, we're just gonna put string uh, pass name we can name this whatever we want as long as you don't have any naming conflicts so yeah then we're gonna want to do inside the method we're just gonna say name is equal to pass name so whatever value we passed through um, pass through this method we're gonna to want to assign it to name and one extra thing actually we're gonna to have to make both this method static and this string static as well because we're gonna be plunking this method into a static method so whenever you have a static method all the variables all the methods that are gonna be accessed by it have to be static as well so if you have one static the other one has to be static just uh, you guys gotta just know that um, I'll teach you again, I'll teach you what static is in a later tutorial. Uh, it'll be really difficult if I tried to explain it right now. Uh, so yeah, basically all we've got now if we ran this program is a whole lot of nothing because there's nothing actually in our main method. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to make another method with a return type. So as you can see this one had no return type uh, because of the keyword void here. Um, so we're going to want to make another method with a return type of string so it can um, give us the value of our name. So we're just going to want to do public static string because we're going to be uh, returning a string value and we're going to just want to get, get name. And there's going to be no parameters in this one at all and just end it. And as you can see, we still got an error. It's because we're, it says missing a return statement. Now, a return statement goes at the end of your methods that have a return type. So this one has a return type of string. So we're going to want to return a string. So to do this, we use the keyword return. And then what do we want to return? Well, we want to return name, the variable name. So we put name and then a semicolon. So Again, if we run this, we got nothing because there's nothing in our main method uh, being accessed yet. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to give a value to our name. So let's go set. We're going to use our uh, method that we made here. And we're going to want to set the name. Set name. Now instead of just going set name and then semicolon, we're going to want to put a value into these uh, parameters here because it asks for um, a parameter of a string. So right in here we just put two quotation marks and I'm gonna put my name Anthony and um, if we run it again we don't get anything again because we haven't done anything we haven't printed it out or anything so um, then the next thing we want to do is we're just gonna want to print out the value so we're gonna s out and then we're gonna use this method and we're just gonna print out our name because we're returning it here so get name uh, so as you can see there's no nothing in the parameters because there's empty parameters here and it is just basically returning the name to our system dot out and printing it out <coughs> man my throat is really sore today one sec <sighs> sorry uh, so as you can see it just printed out Anthony so one more time what we did we made a variable here uh, a string variable called name and then basically what we did we made a method to set a value to the name 
uh, by passing a string parameter through these uh, circle brackets through our parameters and we set whatever we pass through to our variable name and then we um, we just printed out the name by using the get name method that had a return type of name now um, I'm gonna go over another type of um, method with a return type in our next tutorial I'm just gonna be doing the same thing it's just I'm gonna be using integer just to kind of um, get you guys a little more better if that made any sense a little more better at this topic so uh, comment rate and subscribe if you guys have any questions uh, send me a message and I'll be happy to answer them uh, yeah so see ya